We've all heard rumours of the bizarre and unexplained, and there's one in particular that I'm really interested in. Every now and again, someone finds a burnt human body, but the hands, arms and legs are left untouched. So is the room. It's claimed to be spontaneous human combustion, but is it possible? Could I simply burst into flames? To get to the bottom of this gruesome phenomenon, I'm going to recreate a typical case. This container makes a good living room, and this recently deceased pig is our human substitute. It was destined for the butchers, but like scientists have done for centuries, we're going to use it for research because its physiology, size and skin are all very similar to ours. Right, we've got to make this more human-like, so we need to wrap it up in some clothes. Pig in a blanket. The first thing to know about spontaneous combustion is that the victims are usually found near to a source of ignition, like a gas fire or a smouldering ashtray. So we can knock spontaneous on the head straight away. But there's still a lot of weirdness to investigate. Like, why is it only the torso gets burnt? And why is the room left untouched? So here goes, some typical unspontaneous combustion. Normally, if you were fell asleep with a cigarette, the cigarette would just drop onto whatever you're wearing, and yep. then it would go, so we'll try it. Yep. Let's see if that will take on the, the cotton blanket. Well, it's starting to go, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like. So that's the cigarette pretty much gone. Yep. It's burnt through the cotton. We're pretty much down to flesh. Now, normally, you'd simply wake up and put yourself out. But if you were already dead or otherwise incapacitated, you'd continue to burn. This could take many hours, so we're speeding things up to the point where the body catches fire. So it's been, what, an hour and a half now? I reckon about an hour and a half. Still burning away. We seem to have a beautiful flame just centered in the middle, don't we? Yeah, if you look closer, you can see the skin split, and now the fat's rendering down, the fat's becoming liquid, and it's actually the fat of the, of the animal that's burning. And that fat is soaking into the remnants of the blanket. The pig's clothed body acts like an inside-out candle. The melting fat is the wax, and the blanket is the wick. And like a candle, the whole thing burns with a low flame, so the fire is unlikely to spread to the rest of the room. There you go. Five, six hours later, yep. you can see where that wick effect's happening, right in the middle. I mean, this is it. It's a big pool of fat burrowing down with a flame. Exactly, and that's where, we start, that's where it started. That's where the, the cigarette caught fire. And the head and the trotters... Still intact. Nothing. I mean, they haven't even been touched. And the reason? Bits not covered by clothing can't become part of the wick, and they don't contain enough fat to burn by themselves the mystery of the burned torso explained. So when the police go in and they find arms, legs and head and loads of kind of burnt ash in the middle, but the whole of the rest of the room fine, spontaneous human combustion. Or then, not so spontaneous. There isn't so spontaneous, yeah. Yeah, well at least I don't have to worry about bursting into flames anymore. <laughs>